I also brought over some, this is called tracing paper, and this is graphite paper, which is part of the tracing paper set. So what you do if you have tracing paper, or any sort of thin paper that you can see through, is that you put it on top of a design, and you can even hold it up to a screen to show the screen. So you put it on top of a design, you trace the design in the first place with pen or pencil or whatever you want to trace it with. And then you put the graphite paper down on top of the thing you're going to want to eventually draw or paint onto. And then you put your tracing paper on top. And then when you trace it again with a pencil, hello kitty, are you back again? And when you trace it with the pencil, now the design will come through here. I'll do a little bit just to show you. Oh, well here, let me do it on the back of something so I don't get this. Alright, so if I were to trace this with a pen. Just a second. There we go. So if I have to trace the line. See how that came through? So the graphite ends up transferring this design down onto the paper. So you could draw the whole thing. I moved it so it won't exactly line up again, but just to show you the rough idea. See how it started drawing the whole thing that I just drew? So if you want to practice and start with tracing paper, you can do that and that's an easy way to do it. And you can get this on Amazon or Michaels or pretty much anywhere. So this is called tracing paper. This is called graphite paper, and it's often just sold as a set because you use both halves of it.